We continue following breaking news. Two Anne Arundel County police detectives were shot overnight. WJZ and Mike Shu are live at police headquarters where we just got an update from police and we now know the names of those detectives. Mike. Lynn, good morning. Police say the danger to the public is real. Flanked by the county executive, the police chief, Timothy Alvamar, encouraged the man who shot his two detectives to turn himself in as every moment he's free endangers more people. The two were trying to stop a car belonging to a homicide victim when the driver began shooting, one shot hitting the detective, who then managed to drive to a convenience store for help. The chief talked to me about what it took to do that under those conditions. I think he knew he was really badly hurt and uh, and he needed his brothers to come back and, and help him and he figured out a way to do that despite the challenges that he had put in front of him. I think it's remarkable courage. Um, doesn't surprise me at all. So after the first detective is shot, the driver, the shooter, heads south. Now he is chased by a second detective. And at Stony Beach, the two cars collide. Witnesses tell me they hear three shots. All police say fired by the suspect. The detective is also hit. That area is locked down, but the man escapes. Now, the first detective who has more serious injuries is 23-year veteran Scott Ballard, the second 13-year-old veteran Ian Priest. I'm Mike Shue reporting live from police headquarters for WJZ. Mike, thank you. Let's get a check on your forecast with Marty. Okay, right now, Mike was standing without an umbrella. That's getting ready to change. As moisture is again moving across the entire area. Rain through the day. Then rain heavy at times tonight through tomorrow lunch. 57 will be your high, and that's going to be very late, maybe after dinner. Lynn? Thank you, Marty. Stay with WJZ. We will have much more news and weather today at noon. Get constant updates online at WJZ.com.